Hello friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. These are some horrible cases of poor design that are disasters just waiting to happen. Why do people do this? I have no idea. Well, who can I talk? I don't have common sense either. Cursed airbag. Oh no. I made my steering wheel full of cleansing energy. Now every time I drive, I vibe up and my car gets a love charge as well. Don't dude. Don't. You don't put teeny tiny rocks right where the airbag goes and right next to your face. You crash, those rocks flung into your face, your eyes, your brain, everywhere, dude. You, come on. We've got to use our brains in this moment. And this is this is just bad. This is really bad. Doctors will be having a tough time removing all that positive energy from your head right after the car crash. Cars should not be modified. They're made the way that they are to be as safe as possible for you. Don't put some crystals on the wheel. Oh my god, I'm literally getting anxiety just thinking about this. I'm like, come on, dude, read the room. This is not safe. This is not good. Similar design, one can kill and one tastes good. Okay, Tesco has everyday value. Bleach, nice. This is, a, I'm assuming, the one that tastes good, right? Bleach tastes great, right? And then this one is everyday value, yogurt. Dude, they're literally the exact same package. They are practically the same thing. Different shape, but I can see how people would be confused. That is so risky. What if a kid is just like, oh my god, mum has got me this yogurt all these years, and then starts chugging it. It's bleach, not yogurt. Oh my god, I'm just, this is making me more stressed than anything. Guess it's back to good old drunk driving. Uber will soon know if you are drunk and could refuse to pick you up. Doesn't that defeat the entire purpose? The whole point is that we don't want to drink drive so we have uber to pick us up so that we're not hopping in our cars drunk what is going on what do you mean yes i understand if you're too drunk it can be annoying for the driver but it's better than me hopping in my car and killing little timmy it's like the whole idea of the design is to pick up drunk people because they can't drive why would you take that away from drunk people may have been posted before but this is just pure insanity demonstrated above is a new fire signal box that locks the hand of alarm sender until released by a policeman or fireman with a key thus deterring the sending of false alarms wait what you're telling me this contraption here was made so that people don't send false alarms because obviously that is very dangerous and annoying when that happens i know that the building is burning down but when you press this to set off the alarm to let everyone know that the building's burning down you're going to be locked in burning alive until somebody comes and gets you. But if it was a false alarm, then you're fine. The policeman or the fireman will come and get you. But if it wasn't, burning alive. Congratulations. Amazing. Imagine forgetting that grandma's on the porch. From the outside, it looks like a beautiful, you know, wholesome house. Grandma's sitting out there enjoying a cup of tea. Next minute, sorry, grandma. Hong Kong, I'm getting out of here. It's like, what do you mean? Why would you open that up to be a garage door? What if grandma was sitting on the porch? This is so unpractical. Such a waste of space. I mean, it's kind of cool if no one was on it and no one got hurt. Just, it's just, it's a little bit cool. This is one of the most impractical, unpractical, whatever the word is. It's just not practical things I've ever seen. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do it. Do what? Single edge razor blades. I'm, uh, uh, I changed the name. Just got to change the name, change everything. This is very questionable. Just stop, just stop. I almost did it. Microwave, you're like, oh, cool. It's microwave safe. This is awesome. I'm about to chuck it in. Hold on, let me just check what's underneath this little uh, cardboard flap here, shall we? Oh, do not microwave. Can't you just like face it the other way and make sure that people don't microwave the thing that isn't meant to be microwave? What, but microwave? Why can't I speak? Caution, gumballs and bouncing balls mixed together. That is a choking hazard. It's nasty. Like people are probably gonna be eating the gumballs thinking, oh my God, it's probably gum. Next thing, they're choking and dying on some bloody bouncing balls. Isn't that completely like unhygienic as well? I'm grossed out. I am very, very grossed out. I'm questioning it a lot as well. Can't you just put one or the other? Surely. I can see the attempt, but I'm looking at a failed. Staircase beautified with loose boulders and a broken pelvis. I can see how it looks nice. Why does this look like something that would be in Kim Kardashian's house? Can anyone see that? Her beautiful, nice home. And there's just like some boulders on the stairs. Stairs. Okay, one, you fall down the stairs. You're done though. You've broken every bone in your body. You fall up the stairs. You're tripping up the stairs. Like, there's so many things that can go wrong here. Why would you do this? It looks cool. I will admit. I think it looks kind of cool. Tell me they're fluffy boulders. Like, they're fake, right? Um, excuse me. This is bleach. Yeah, I know that that might look like some nice cereal with some nice milk or whatever the that is. But no, it's bleach. It's the thing that you put on your hair that is incredibly chemically heavy and dangerous. What if a kid sees that and just goes, oh my god, I love the star cereal. It's like, no, you eat bleach today. Imagine coming home drunk, dude. Are you kidding me? There's water, there's some fishies, but I'm picturing myself pulling up in an Uber. Drunk as f 
It's been a big night. Lots of shots. I'm falling in there. Probably drowning. There's a time and a place for a pond, and I don't think it's right next to the entryway. That's all I'm saying. This Russian stadium didn't meet FIFA's regulation on capacity, so they added 18,000 more seats in the most terrifying way possible. I am scared of heights, and this is why. Look at that. Look at how scary that is. Oh, God. I can't. Look at this. I just can't. I can't. It makes me uncomfortable. No. Just no. They're... No, no. I love my country, but sometimes, like, attention, attention. Uh, very dangerous electricity coming from this box. It's like, how about we spray some water on it? How about we put a sprinkler right here? Perfect placement, if you ask me. Chuck the sprinkler there, call it a day. Nothing could go wrong. Everything could go wrong. Bruh. Yeah, bruh, indeed. How the f you get in your car across to the garage. You'd want to be a good driver. I think I could do it, but just like the stress every single time I pull up to the house, I'm just like, oh, shit. Here we go again. Are we going to ruin mom and dad's car today? Or are we going to make it in the garage? Let's find out. I don't see a problem here. This is perfect. If you can't get it into and out of the garage, you don't deserve to drive. They kind of have a point. This 1955 device for smoking a whole packet of cigarettes at once. Oh, yes. Great design. Why was that a thing? Why did? Why would they invent this? One cigarette is bad enough. How about we take the whole pack all at once? It does look kind of cool. I'll give them that. Smoking is bad, though. Smoking is disgusting and you should never do it. This 1930s design let you hang your baby over the side of a building in a cage. I wonder how long this one stuck around before they were like, eh, this one's a little bit risky. I don't know about this one. This baby's like, mom, dad, I don't know what I did. Is this where I'm, am I grounded? Is this where you put the naughty kids? You're like, hey, get outside in the cage. Sorry, wheelchair users. Listen, there's an accessible ramp. What are you talking about? It's like, I've never seen anything so steep for a wheelchair. I mean, they'd get a lot of speed on the way down. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the positives here, but there literally isn't any. How can you safely get a wheelchair down there? There's no way. I mean, the potential is there. On the left here, we have allergy relief. Wonderful. You get allergies, you need a little bit of relief. It's perfect. On the right, we have women's laxatives. I didn't even realize you needed different laxatives for women. Can somebody explain that to me? Both by the same brand. Both almost the same color of pink, the exact same layout. You're going to, you know, make yourself feel a little bit better. You got a bit of hay fever. Next thing you know, you sh your pants, all right? There's poop everywhere. You can't stop it. Like, what do you do in that situation? Warning label inside a helmet I received when we rented four wheelers. Warning, this helmet is a novelty item only and is not made for, intended for, nor designed for use as protective headgear under any circumstances. What? The manufacturer disclaims all responsibility if used in any manner other than as its novelty item. Imagine, dude. That's got to be illegal, surely. It's like, I know this looks like a helmet that's going to protect your head, but I promise you, you hit your head, it ain't protecting you. You knock your head, gonzos. Done. Forever. See you later. The cannonball loop water slide. The f I have no words. No words. In the 1930s, you could buy artificial snow that was made out of 100% asbestos. That is crazy, dude. I feel like the younger generation might not know what asbestos is. It's something that they were using for a very, very long time. They found out it was very harmful for a lot of people and killed a lot of people. It like bunched up on your lungs and never went away. Oh, a beautiful bike lane. You know what we're going to put? We're just going to put a bit of a drain here. Just got to make sure that the rainwater can go down. Uh, you know, the, the little slits in between. Perfect for a bike uh, wheel. Go straight down the middle. No worries. You're not going to hurt yourself. Not at all. Never going to happen. It's like, oh God, somebody's getting hurt. Is this one of those garages where it goes underneath? The car parks on top, but usually when you want to get the car that's underneath, you got to, you got to move that car. Oh, that's so bad. Surely there was like some sort of sensor to stop that from happening. Oh, this hurts my soul, dude. I can't. I can't. It's so bad. This is just, you, you try to give me a heart attack, clearly. On the floor of the doctor's office, if you trip on it, you're in the right place. One, unsafe because I'm going to trip over it. Two, terrifying. Are you trying to send me into cardiac arrest? Is that what's happening here? I'd be scrolling through TikTok, walking through. I'd either shit me pants or I'd break me back. It's either or, okay? There is no if, ends, or buts. It's both. Wait, what? Why does this look like a fucking game of Jenga? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, well, there's a big building that's being held up by a teeny, tiny little, 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 I don't even know what to call it. This is literally a game of Jenga. The rest of the pile is being held together by one little piece. I am worried. I am stressed. I don't like looking at this. It hurts my brain. It looks nice, sure, but I didn't even know that it was a real extinguisher. It's like, that's a cool photo. Like, here is the extinguisher. This man's putting out a fire. This is how you could put out a fire with the extinguisher. But I'd probably be walking past being like, oh my God, that's like a cool photo, I guess. Cool print. Not even realizing that the extinguisher is there. What if you're in a state of stress and you're just thinking that it's a photo, but it's actually where the extinguisher is. It doesn't make sense, dude. Why? Apparently this is totally illegal. Fire extinguishers are never allowed to be a part of the decor. They need to stand out, however ugly that is. Ah, I see, I see. It needs to be obvious. I think that's why they're red. So this blends in. It needs to make 
more of a statement. This bike track in Croatia. It's not funny. It's not funny, but it's, it's kind of funny. Like, who thought this was a good idea? It's like these people are just enjoying their, you know, nice bike ride out and about. The birds are chirping, the sun's shining. And then there's a sidewalk that is hidden by the red paint. It's just so cooked, dude. It's so cooked. Time for a nice refreshing drink of, oh, that's clear glue. Listen, I've made mistakes where it's been vodka, but glue would be pretty bad. At least it's non-toxic, guys. Amazing. That would be quite refreshing, right? Well, there is some poorly designed stuff if I've ever seen it. Jesus. Holy. It's crazy, dude. They need to rethink that. I am questioning why those existed, but I'm glad we got to witness it together. If you enjoy these videos or enjoy my content, please subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing. It's the afternoon. I'm cooked. I uh, hope you all have a lovely day. Jazz hands. <laughs>